Let's go ahead and get right over to meteorologist Zach Scott. He's standing by with some important information and warnings. Hey, Zach. Hey there, Monty. Yeah, starting to get uh, a little serious out there. We've got one severe thunderstorm warning I want to show you. This is a live look in downtown Temple right now. We've got dark skies. Guys, if we could flash over to uh, max two for us. That'd be great. We have a severe thunderstorm warning. We've had a lot of active weather on the radar the last few days and uh, yeah, so we haven't had any severe weather, but now we're starting to have to deal with it a little bit today. If we can get over to max two guys or max one rather, I'm sorry if we can get on Doppler net there. I want to be able to show this warning. Uh, we have a severe thunderstorm warning in Falls County. It's getting ready to move into Limestone County. It's moving off towards the northeast around 20 miles per hour, and we're going to see the possibility of quarter size hail and wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. There we go. That's our severe thunderstorm really pulsed up pretty quick here. Heavy rain in Marlin, and you notice here in the last few frames, we've got some pinks there just to the northeast of Marlin, south of Otto. That's where we could have seen maybe some of the largest hill up to around the size of quarters. As you can see this storm is continuing off towards the northeast around 20 miles per hour. So we've got it timed out for you. Prairie Hill 644, Eccles around 702 and Coolidge at 712. Northeast around 20 miles per hour. Warning goes until 645. Possibility of this storm seeing wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour and quarter size hell. We'll continue to watch the storm as it gets ready to move out of northeastern Falls County and into western and southwestern portions of Limestone County. That's the only severe storm we've had here for the last few days and the only one we've had here today. Still got some other thunderstorms out there. Northern areas, Hillsboro back down to Meridian. We're seeing some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Nothing severe there. Looking in into our southwestern boundaries from Adamsville back down to Lampasas, trying to see a few spotty thunderstorms get going. Not even seeing much in the way of lightning there. And Temple, hey, we've been dry. Watch the cluster of thunderstorms stay to the east of us. We're looking to the southwest, south of Belton right now. We've got a thunderstorm down there around Salado trying to pulse up. Hopefully going to bring some rain maybe as far away West, as Harker Heights, Nolanville, and then areas back towards the east towards Temple. We're going to keep showers and thunderstorm chances in the forecast as we go through the remainder of the late afternoon and now heading into the evening hours. Again, one severe thunderstorm here. Northern portions of Falls County moving into Limestone County. 60 mile per hour wind gusts and hells possibly up to the size of quarter. You notice also a lot of lightning there too. So move indoors as this storm uh, gets ready to pass by your location. Temperatures anywhere from the 80s to the lower 90s. Waco coming in officially at 92 degrees. Again, we got mostly cloudy skies as we go through the evening. Again, going to hold on to that hit or miss shower or thunderstorm. Late evening, we start to get a little of a break. The rain chances are sticking around for the next several days, even into the overnight hours. Back with us tomorrow, Sunday night. And yeah, possibly lingering for some on Monday. I have details for who has the better rain chances on Monday. We'll have another look at that severe thunderstorm warning in a couple more minutes. Imani. All right, thanks, Zach.